board of Pearl 72 and we're not alone actually in case you don't know we do take our patrons on our yacht tours so today we have Kate and Brandon with us they're joining us on the tour of this one they had no idea till yesterday what we're touring because we're keeping it a secret and uh, I hope you guys are excited absolutely yeah. it's exciting tell us where you're from we're from Dallas, Texas. Okay, so you yes. flew in for the show. We did. We did. Yeah. Nice. Love it. Just for us. Yeah, Just right. for you. Oh, oh really? Is, <laughs> yeah. Is it your first boat show? It is our first boat show. No way. Yes. What yes. do you think? We're loving it. It's okay. amazing. All right. It's a little yeah. overwhelming. You think? <laughs> and a little hot. Yeah. And it's been it really warm, hot yeah. again every year. Well, at least you guys know we're not lying or we're constantly complaining how hot it is because it's really, really yeah. hot. It is. We'll do the exterior quickly and then we'll jump on the interior so we have nice air conditioning. Sounds, Sounds good. good. So this is quite unusual. So you have this layout that has a cushion that goes on top. Cool thing is like, it's, so it's an oversized bench for a couple of people to sit at, or maybe even three people. And you have two cup holders in there as well. So while you're watching the action in the water behind the boat, you can actually have a good spot to sit and rest. Have you guys ever seen anything like it? No. no. Me either. So that's, that's definitely that's a first. That's first to me as well. Kind of go like, well, why waste a pretty valuable real estate? And they just came up with a cool feature. So watch yourselves. Let's we'll see how okay. this comes up. Oh, wow. This is a huge garage. Okay, well, let me remind you, this is a 72-footer. That is a lot of space in the garage. So you've got a jet ski and a you jet have tender. A, a jet tender. You still have a sea bob and there's technically room here to put some like stand up paddle boards, inflatables, you know, you can just you put can a, still you, slide there is on still top. space. That is a very generous garage for and sure. It's got sliders. So you just pull them out. So yeah, the, so the you have the hydraulic swim platform, it goes down and then you can slide the toys in the water. This is impressive. I mean, impressive. it is really impressive for the size. I agree. So it's a 325, 3.25 meter turbo jet from Williams. All yeah, right, let's see what cool. else we can find. Yeah. Impressive. All yeah, right. pretty cool. And if you're sitting and using it as a beach club, you could use this shade, yes. put some loungers if the sun's coming from behind you, but from forward, the front. yeah, yeah. Then uh, actually this is a pretty cool little shaded area here as well. Cool. Kind of nice. All right, let's uh, close it up. We're using our assistant, yeah. Andrea. A uh, yeah. human remote that has personality. Yeah, that's an option. That's a, that's a very, very expensive, expensive option. option. Let's see what else we can find. Well, first of all, what about that? These leaves are amazing. Now, like, think about water toys, stand-up paddleboards, kayaks in the water, jet ski in the water. You need real estate just to tie up all your toys, right? Having this on both sides just extends your swim platform by time and a half. It's quite interesting because I've never seen them shaped like this. I see what you're saying, but there are no cleats. So how do you tie anything to it? Well, you can install probably popping cleats oh, or something. Oh, you think that's how you would use you it? You could. I was thinking like you can just have like your own private little nook. You can put like a little bean bag. Well, the kids put, I could see. Yeah, just kids jumping, jumping off. off. Yeah, this would be cool. This it's is just an extension, on, you know, an anchor. Just gives you a bigger real estate. So we do have a conventional swim ladder on the side of the swim platform there. Yep. Got our shore power inlet here, a passer well we just walked by on. And we are in the cockpit. I have yet to see a little poof on this size of a vessel just to kind of extend your space to make it feel more like a, almost like a living room outside. It's such a simple thing. And they have a perfect little space for it. So these are high low, the leaves fold out, right? So we will demonstrate. If we'll extend them out, this is a pretty large table. You so can easily dining for one, two, three, eight. four. It's so a four staterooms, four heads. So eight is a perfect magic number, I think, for this yacht. And the seven two, that's pretty good. All right, what do we have here? I've yet to ex explore this, you guys. So you're exploring with us. Oh, there's another trash can coming out. Hello, I like these. It's just so cute. Oh, they kind of talk to you. So I don't there know what's on top. There is something here. Well, we Take have assistance today. Oh, it's, it weighs nothing. Uh, it looks extremely heavy, <laughs> but it weighs nothing. Aha, uh -huh. so we do have a sink here. So you can set up like a nice bar here. We do have a transom shower 
right here on the port side, which is fairly convenient, easily accessible. You guys decide which side do we go forward on? Starboard or port? Um, let's go let's starboard. Do. Starboard, okay. You see how the new was starboard is? That's what, I'll a, go with that's what I would have said. Let's start on the right side. Oh, okay, all right. Um, so we have boarding doors also here up on the cockpit level on both sides. How does this work? The fuel fill? Yeah, but how do you open it? Suction cup. Maybe, huh? It's kind of interesting. You can just open that. All right, what do we think of this walkway? This is an awesome walkway. It's a good, it's a good size. This is really thick. Oh, yeah. These rails feel like a bit oversized. Pretty cool. So we have our side entrance here. Gonna check that out on the interior as yes. well. Yes, look at the bow. That is a huge space. It is. Just keep reminding myself, this is a 72. You guys, we passed by that, by the way. We gotta, well, look. Okay, we, you guys go there. It's perfect. So we got fender and line storage right here on both sides. If there's four of us, Rico, we can accomplish this tour in half the time. Yeah. <laughs> we got cup holders everywhere. Everywhere. Pop-up Pop -up light. lights. They saw you coming. So I'm gonna go forward. You're gonna explain the whole bow. Well, you already the, forward. The, no, the rest of oh, the Oh, okay. All right. Well, let's see. Maybe we can like team this. Well, first of all, you guys seeing this carbon fiber poles, we do have a really nice shaded area here. This is a big sitting area and I kind of feel like this converts into something. I think you got to investigate. Nothing? Nope, nothing here. Interesting. What about there? There is a, I think, an emergency, uh, possibly hatch. an emergency escape hatch. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what yeah, it is. So that's why it's foldable like that. So you have a big layout cushion and a really nice sitting area. High low table. Which you can fold back. Oh yeah. Can you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah, so it makes it really easy to go in and out of this space. Speakers everywhere. And I like the pop-up pop -up lights. The ambient yeah. lights. Great. All right, what's at the bow? So, on the bow. That's we, you and Brendan. We do have a stainless steel anchor, stainless steel chain, windlass, then our dual cleats, and the anchor locker on both sides. Oh, I can't open this one. The line is in the way, so I'm showing this one. So right now, of course, we have some fenders stored in there and then the chain locker is in the center part of it and you have the access from both sides. Little bar there to tie your lines on, so that's pretty cool. Thank you. Yep. <laughs> Before you go forward, can you talk about these? Because these are kind of unique. Instead of doing them the other way around, they, I don't even know how to explain them, but it just looks very stylish mm -hmm. and it's also very useful. And it's really holding the lines, like they're not going to pop off. And you really don't shave on any no, fiberglass at all. No, it's very good. Any and they have an coat. extra one right here as yes. well. Yeah, yeah. They, they did a really good job on that. You've got your salt water, you said that? Deck nope. wash? Oh. Salt water, deck wash, I didn't see that actually. Uh -huh. Found something you didn't see. And that looks like we've got a window going into one of the cabins. That's we've right. We've got to investigate that later. And windows on and the side. And another window. Oh, wow. What cabin is that? It's pretty cool. It's got to be the owner's suite. we got to see that. All right, let's go. What's here? That's the access to the engine room and crew quarters. Ah, okay, got you. We'll see that at the end of the tour. So here we have the aft station for docking. That's actually a really convenient location since the interior helm is on the starboard side. Having the aft station on the port side makes a lot of sense because this way you can have the vantage point from both sides. So you have your empty view control panel, start and stop buttons right here, your thrusters and your shift and throttle controls right here. Everything you need to dock the boat. All right, let's go and check out the flybridge, which Pearl Yachts do quite well. I'm excited to see this one. There is more than enough space for the four of us. I mean, we literally could just be in our own separate areas. That is pretty insane. Incredible. We'll give you guys perspective. Okay. It's beautiful. Kate will so take much space. that area. Let's see, Brandon will take this. Oh, perfect. <laughs> They're good there. <laughs> Look, I can be here and Rico could be at the helm and we literally can not see each other. It will feel long. empty. Yeah, it, it will empty. feel empty. And I mean, have to shout to each other. Hello! Even with, even with like eight people on here, you yeah. would still not feel crap. It is amazing. All. Let's start aft, maybe, yeah? So, yeah, we got some loose furniture in the back. Cool and then furniture. This, Looks this really cool. This layout pad I learned earlier could also be a jacuzzi, for example. How'd you learn that? Well, Wow, cheating. I know. You guys, we haven't been up here yet. This is our real experience. This guy somehow just managed to see everything. And so we have a huge awning. Like that a lot. This could be a jacuzzi on it a 72 be. footer? Yes. That's insane. Mm -hmm. It's fairly, fairly good size even. Yeah, for sure. I mean, you almost don't need so much layout space. You have that huge layout cushion in the front. By the way, I just realized as we walked away, because it's a high-low table and it's a massive table, you can turn it into a complete layout. 
yep. total big layout cushion with the same cushion from the back. Oh, wow. That's where you would put that and then you can put that it on the back. That makes sense. All right, now we go forward. So there's another cushion. Another which cushion that goes somewhere. Can go onto this table there. Oh, and make that layout pad. Okay, let's start here. How about that? Oh. Icebox? Yes. Oh, no, it's a fridge. Oh, it's so cold. Make it a little ultra. Oh, what do you guys man. want? <laughs> oh, it's got every kind of. Wow, that's so cold. That would be nice right now. All right, and then sink. Yep. We've Canyon got an ele electric grill. Drink fridge. Wait, wait a minute. Wait one, a minute. One might be an ice maker. No, that, that no, is a fridge. No, that's a fridge. Ice maker. Yes. Yep. Oh, this is a proper bar. All right, how big is uh, that sitting area there, you guys? Probably eight again. Yeah, easily, yeah, right? Yeah. And we I can bring so up too. some foldable chairs put there. And there's, it looks like it's all storage underneath. Every single one. Yeah. Oh, that's it's quite brilliant. It is. Yeah. And then you're saying these cushions can go on top of that area, and that's a perfect napping spot. I think so. This is where yeah. I would be. Yeah, it's right? a great spot, I agree. Best spot on the ways, right? It here. is. Yeah, just facing forward. Another really, really cool feature is this. Wow. wow. Well done for the second time. <laughs> <laughs> First uh, time was definitely better. Yeah. So yeah, I forgot to film it the first time. I was, time, so we had I to was redo genuine, it one more time. really genuine. So yeah, you have these huge louvers, yeah, louvers, right? Louvers. See, yeah. you're right. Yeah. Which is pretty awesome. I mean, especially like once the sun goes down a little bit, you want to open it up. You get even more breeze coming through. I haven't seen them this wide. I mean, usually they're like this big. These yeah. are really these wide. These are really like wide. Extra yeah. wide, like a super yacht wide. Yeah, pretty very crazy. cool. Very cool uh, What you feature. got at the helm? So, See if you can uh, quiz Brandon on something. We have a little bit of a storage here. Two cup holders. He could have answered that. <laughs> More storage. Are you going to give it a try? Sure. Okay. Point what you well, think. Imagine he's so much better have... than you. How yeah. embarrassing we'd be for you yeah, right now. Yeah, I know, now. right? I know. Don't, don't be too so good, cut, okay? Cut, 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 don't cut. Don't be too good. <laughs> <laughs> cut him out. Cut him oh. out. No, I'm a little bit lost. Obviously, Garmin. Yep. Two Garmin shot plotters yeah. right next to each other. In the middle is a multi-function display right on top. Yeah. So you can pull up any kind of information. In this case, right now, we have fuel level on there, actually. Below that is the trim tab control. Oh, there you go. The Humphreys. Then moving down here, this is the control for the autopilot. I know that because it says standby here, because you either put it on auto or on standby. Then the MTU display is for the main engines. And then we have also from the MTU, the main engine controls here stop button start button and then also emergency stop and start button and then override but you would have to slide it for that in order to get access to it it's protected in normal operation obviously throttle control and thrusters yeah shift and throttle exactly control right here like you said the thruster bound stern thruster control bilge alarm if it sounds and exhaust alarm and then we have our controls for the sunshade and the very aft portion the oh, yeah. awning and the louvers overhead here to open and close them light switches here anchor control horn bilge pumps actually we've got a lot of bilge pumps we had seven bilge pumps manual overrides here well you guys were busy with there with the helm we yes. found some interesting stuff well first really? of all what was this a little Did storage cabinet is the storage all right, well, oh. come, come check this out. Hold on. Well, besides, it's all storage under everything, but check this out. Holy wow. moly. Is that insane? Wow. There's oh, another one. There's another yes. one. Yep. There's another this one there. comes up over here. Just watch your fingers. Cam. You could put a whole workout Isn't that incredible? bike in there. Yeah. Yes, I think you can literally put like a, one of these workout bikes and put them up here and yeah. have a really nice little outdoor gym. Right. It's impressive. It's a lot. I mean, you have space in the garage. Here's a you can use that as a storage too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, should we go in the air conditioning and check out the interior? I yes, think so. please. All right, let's do it. Follow me. All right, let's check out the interior. It's very confusing, okay? All right, uh -huh. welcome. Yes. To a really nice air condition. I can definitely appreciate. Thanks, Kate. <laughs> appreciate it. This is a lot of space for a 72. For 72, yeah, and it's all open. And they've completely kept it one level and then just a little step up there. Towards the helm. And which the, is nice and the... for, for visibility. Yep. So let's check it out. Well, I'll let you guys uh, decide on this. How many does it sit? Oh, probably about six. Yeah, I'd say. And then you still have the two chairs. Yeah, very nice. Well, you guys are standing right there. Well, okay, can I assist this and maybe open one of those? 
storage. Yep. So I got storage. Oh, somebody else has storage, not me. I love it. Got assistance. And look, they've used these. It's the, almost like an upside oh, down. Upside down. Is this an upside down version of the ones I like? I think so. That's an MBBL. That's interesting. You can just reuse them and put them on the other side. Yeah. Brilliant. So the way this space is laid out is just really loungy. There is no high-low table or any, it's just really just a lounge area because we have a proper dining area there. So right where you walk in or walk out, you have the AC system, the air condition controls, the water system, you see fresh water capacity, gray water capacity, black water capacity, and your DC battery selectors where you can see how much the voltage you have and how much amps you're actually drawing right now, as well as the schematics about the alarm system and smoke detector system as well. So you can mute the alarms if you ever had to. You can also test the alarms. This and is very slick paneling. It looks pretty nice, right? Yeah, I haven't seen one like that. I wonder which system is that, because that looks cool. That's pro. Like, you think it's proprietary to them? Yep. I think it's really pretty. It's just like so simple and slick. Also kind of cool, you see the Seakeeper. You can enable the Seakeeper. Oh, right there. Enable the air condition. Uh, that's pretty cool. All right, let's keep going. All right, let's check out the galley. So the galley is completely open as well. So we got some storage. Pearl is something I remember on the last one we toured. If you guys haven't seen that video, you can check it out in the description of the video. I'll put a little pop up right here. What I remember they do really well is they really utilize corners and really good about putting all these fancy uh, mechanisms. Lazy Susans for yeah, the whatever corners? Whatever they're called. Yeah, I don't know. So, oh, look how they did the plates. You see that? Yep. Check Every, this out. Everything has their dedicated oh, space. I love that. So it's really like in there, but how do you get there is what I'm wondering. Does it come out? Oh, you just go in there, you just put it. That's kind of deep, but it's definitely not going anywhere and it's not rattling, which is pretty yep. cool. So obviously looking at that, the boat is coming full with silverware and plates and everything. Check, check. Part of buying a luxury yacht, right? Oh, hello, trash can. I mean, it literally just came and said hello. Yep. That? And then let's see, oh, dishwasher, nice. Full-size dishwasher. Yes, and then look at it, that's it. I was waiting for this. That's what they do so well. I mean, it's just great. Used all this corner space, it's fantastic. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Okay, and then we have our four burner cooktop with the extraction fan right in the middle, which is unusual, have not seen much of it at all. <laughs> It's trippy, it's trippy. <laughs> ah, and then we have a microwave oven as well underneath. It must be a microwave convection oven. Yeah, I think so. Melee. All right. And that, how about that light? What do you think? It's beautiful, right? Yeah. It's, it's like pretty that. nice. And they continue this whole wooden paneling throughout. Looks really nice. Where's the fridge? Can well, somebody find the fridge, the fridge? We have also this breakfast bar here. Okay, so you guys right explore now, that. We got three high chairs or yeah. counter stools. Is that right? It's a counter I think stools? it's. Because there's a regular stool, there's a countertop height, and then there's a... It's a counter stool. Yeah. yeah. Or a anyway, bar stool. We got three of these, but there's actually space for four. Is there storage? Let the guys explore. Sure. Ah, all the glassware. Very wear. nice. Oh, look at this. It is zigzagging, I think. Oh, yeah, it is zigzagging, yeah. I just don't know how you would get it out. Okay, so we have glasses <laughs> in there. I don't okay, know if you guys out. have glassware, I've got champagne, okay? So what's this? Well, this is champagne cooler, a single bottle cooler. Yeah. I'm kind of thinking this is becoming a thing. This is not the first yacht I've seen it on, and starting to think maybe this is something needs to be added to the MBBL. Point this out. It's a retractable power strip. Thank you. Power strip. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And you've got a charging on top. And then I'm um, looking at the outlet. So you have not just the wireless charging on top, you also have the USB outlet. Oh, there. I can see that. And the outlets are itself. Uh, world outlets. So they're ah. the national outlets. You can plug in Smart. a 110 plug, you can plug in European and German plug, they all will fit. Kate, is it a fridge? This is really cool. Okay, open it. This is really cool. <laughs> Hidden fridge. Yeah. Oh, wow, it's pretty big actually. Freezer. Nice size. And what's next to it? Oh, oh it is. It's all righty. Right. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, very cool. Yeah, and there's one more down there. And See, it we just has we gotta dividers. just take assistance with us all the time. Right. Working just so half easy. as hard. It's fantastic. And I'm, I'm looking at it again. Everywhere it looks like the international outlets. I like that. That's pretty unusual. But you know, Pearl's about to celebrate 25 years next year, mm -hmm. and so they relatively a newer shipyard with technically a good amount of experience at this point. What they're doing well is they're keeping themselves pretty boutique. 
and keeping a high level of customization, semi-custom shipyard with a high level of customization. So I'm pretty sure they get a lot of feedback and they keep incorporating different things on the newer models. So this is a world premiere. I'm sure there's a reason why we're seeing stuff like that because they're... The as extra the, step. Yeah, the extra step. And they want to stay around 25 yards a year. Mm -hmm. So um, in that sense, the entire interior is semi-custom. Correct. So you can customize all the interiors. That's one of their features as a you know boutique shipyard. This little details it makes all the difference. All right. Well, we didn't talk about this. We're we sitting here actually. This. I think there's a lot of people here. It's a great breakfast nook, and it's nice how it comes up because yeah. it still gives you that view all the way aft. You see quite well. I would say this is easily dining for six. Oh yeah. Very oh, very very comfortable. A cool thing which I really like about this setup. You could actually put a couple of pillows and have not as deep as a bench as it is right now. Mm -hmm. if you want to just sit there for oh, you mean like, to, to yeah. eat exactly. Oh, definitely. But it's also a cool spot if you're underway and you have a multi-day trip, for example, that somebody could crash there. Absolutely. You could yeah. easily rest there whilst the other one is um, underway. I mean, that's what I enjoy doing when we have longer passages. I actually like to like sleep nearby. Rico would rather go and just go in a cabin because he can't sleep if he's next to the helm. So he will go in a cabin and you know I'll sit on the watch. But for me, like I perfectly fine can sleep, I almost feel better doing that. So if he's in the helm, I will just totally pass out and sleep right there. So yeah. I would love that. That would be a good space for that. I one. think it's a really cool idea to have that. What I really like about the situation of the helm chairs here is besides you can obviously flip them up as a booster. Uh -huh. So it gives you a little bit more space, but still you have always the chair behind you. What I like about these ones is that they have the space in between so you can actually go back and have a little bit more room here, especially when you talk about the helm for YouTube video. I agree, yeah, that is great. <laughs> great to have that space. Let's walk through the helm. We have the fire suppression system indicators here and also the manual release. Then we have our Humphrey trim tab control right here. This reminds me a little bit of a car actually. Mm -hmm. The AC vents, automotive. you can completely adjust them and you can also close them up, which I really like. This is stylish. I like how they did that. Right. Instead the dash, of just going completely, yeah, completely flat. Yeah, the dash, the dash looks actually very slick. Then we have two Garmin chart plotters. We got the autopilot control right in the center between the two chart plotters. We got our MTU ignition keys right here. Then we have the MTU stop and start control panel right here. The dual thruster control for the bow and the stern thruster. The shift and throttle control for the main engines. Here are the MTU monitors and you have your basic switches for bilge pumps, windshield wiper control, navigation lights, and the horn switch as well. Very importantly, a cup holder and... Two cup holders. <laughs> two cup holders. Because you've got two chairs. That's right, we got two cup Those holders. Those look like the proper size. They're not the narrow yeah. size, which don't fit the Yetis, for example. Smart. A lot of people use the Yetis for their coffee or for a cold drink as well. Yep. So these ones will actually fit the big cups. To starboard, we have a side door, weather door, which makes it easy also for docking operations because you can have an easy conversation with whoever is on the deck helping with the lines and with the docking procedure. Oh, I found a storage. <laughs> It's good size. Look at it. It's good for like, you know, blankets and stuff that you maybe want to have in this space. Kind of cool. Like it, yeah. So where should we start? Should we go forward or should we go midship? Oh boy, that's hard. I think we should go midship and then go forward. I kind of agree. You guys will understand why we're having this tough time making this decision because, well, you'll see. really like this handrail. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And BBLing it, it is, or what? It is. It's a very um, space-saving it handrail. And it doesn't leave any... Nope. Nothing. No fingerprints. This is a four-stateroom, four-head layout, 72. Flybridge. You guys, that's a lot of space, and you'll see what they've done here. We have three cabins down here. So we're going to go first, we're going to go forward and port. It's not really forward, we're midship, but yes, on the port side. On this yacht, we actually have two owner suites. Quite unusual for the size, definitely haven't seen it before. When they said that, we were kind of like, hmm, are you really calling a VIP a second owner suite? But you guys will see it's actually quite equal. So this is for sure a VIP for a 72 footer. So I think this is slightly smaller than a queen size bed. I would oh, where's my imagine. measuring devices up there? The moment of truth. No, you gotta go somewhere All right, here. Four foot five inches. What does that tell us? It's less than a, than a queen size. A queen, so it's a boat it, queen. It's a boat queen. Yeah. Yeah. But the headroom you guys in here is insane. I mean, how tall are you? I'm six foot. Yeah, there you go. So now we know so that, it's more than, now it's more we know than that I'm 6'10". 
<laughs> with my hand, whatever, arm up. So it's like, it's, it's yeah. seven. Yeah, it's se at least seven, yeah, seven, seven something. Seven, five. Plenty That's something, a yeah. really good headroom for this type of mm -hmm. cabin. And look at us, there's four of us in here, and there's a really good amount of space. Mm -hmm. All right, we have drawers underneath. I don't know how many, I think just one. Do you have one on your side? No, you might have one on the foot end, actually. Oh, yeah, two in the sense. front. Yeah. Nice. Do you have one where you are, Rico? Nope. Maybe not. Okay, so it's three of them. You wouldn't be able to open it. Makes them. sense. Yeah, you can't open it. Unless you stand in the drawer while you're yeah. opening <laughs> <laughs> And there's a really good sized mirror. They just kind of maximize the way the, the space feels. And the, the TV. TV. Mm -hmm. And the TV Behind in there. The mirror. And then um, they've even added this little extra space for this cabin. I'm pretty impressed, actually. Like a little workspace yeah, or makeup space, a, yeah. Put a little poof here and work. And, and then behind check, the check this door. Out. Oh, wow. You know, why not? And you can kind of see how they've accomplished this space is because they've used every inch of, even when the hall is kind of shaping up, they have this beautiful carpet. You can't even tell, but if you walk up on it, you know, yeah. you could see that you're going up. But they've accomplished this lots of volume in this type What's of What's behind vessel. the door? All right, that means move on. Hanging locker, whoa, that's great. Very good size. I can't wait to see the rest of the cabins. Let's see what we got here. So our head. Two steps up. Yeah. Actually, it's not a very large ensuite, but the way it's laid out, it's actually perfect. Yeah, it really works. It's a one and a half person shower for sure. I mean, what do you guys think? Yeah. I think so. Be our witnesses. How real are we when we say this? What do you think? We're not calling it a yeah. two-person. There you go. Well, oh, technically now yeah. it is. <laughs> you know, but comfortably. But for comfortably sure. one and a half. Yeah, yeah, for sure. We're little. Brendan's a little bigger. He'll fit. Yep. It will work. Well, you put Brendan and me in there, it's not going to work. <laughs> That's yeah. not going to work at all. No, no. All right, let's go check out another cabin, which is now on our starboard. This is unique. I've yet to see this on any yacht. I'm blinded by the light. I mean, you're blinded by... Okay. Less so, work, more play. This is our double cabin, right? Love this. I think it's quite clever. Unless you have the slidable beds, mm -hmm. it's really clever way of using space because look, it just gave us now an actual storage down here. We have three drawers. Why do we not have a drawer there? Kind of weird. There must be an explanation for it. There must be something underneath. Air conditioning, Air conditioning. maybe? Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. They did added this here as well. Oh, soft, soft, soft closing. Close, yeah. Nice. Yeah, pretty cool. Okay, musical Indirect chair. Indirect lighting. Got the TV. Got a TV, got a hanging locker with some shelves also here. Also very generous hanging locker. Yeah. So each one has an ensuite. Oh, look at that. It's just perfectly fits. Perfectly. All right, so we have our head sink, some under storage right here. I don't know if this is, oh yeah. Yes. Oh, wow. That's great. And then come over here and we have a shower right here. So this is actually also your day hat. Yeah, so this could be used as a day hat for sure. So we have like a good one person shower right here. With a rain shower hat. So that's just two of our smallest cabins. Now we're going to show you the first master. And that's going to be our aft master. I mean midship, but kind of like aft. No, okay. The aftest. The aftest cabin. <laughs> Hello, Kate. Hi. <laughs> so what do we have here? Oh, good. You can turn that side. Let's see. We've got for little makeup or jewelry. Makeup. Yeah. Jewelry. Cool. It's a good little workspace nice there. Workspace. Several drawers. You also have drawers in the bed, you guys. You do? Uh, yeah, you do. that good size. Oh yeah. Actually, this one is really large. Same That's here. Huge. Yeah, I like how they kind of rounded this whole design around. It looks really nice. Just kind of continues this round I corners. I do like the. Oh, actually, you know what? There are more drawers here on the foot end as well. Yeah, it's pretty cool. And they're deep. So we have yes. a. Yes. Okay. Here we go. Larger than queen size bed. I don't know if it's quite a king. Here we go again. Five seven. It is five seven. And let's check out the ensuite because we still have a whole other owner suite to show. All you. right. I mean, they're all very compatible. The sizes are great. This all is of them. a little larger than the other ones. Oh yeah, no, definitely. Yeah, this is a good two-person shower. I mean, comfortable. For sure, with the rain shower head. Again. Yeah, and um, I like how they don't just have one porthole. They have a porthole in the shower, and they also have a porthole right here. Yeah. So you can definitely create some cross breeze coming into here. All right. Shall we show you guys the uh, Actual other? Master? Owner suite, let's do it. All right, you guys ready? Yep. Okay, let's, let's do, it. do it. So we're going all the way forward now. And when I say all the way forward, I mean all the way forward. <laughs> and it's completely private. This might be one of the most forward cabins I've been on when it comes to an owner suite. 
It's pretty incredible, actually. It is. Have you guys ever seen anything like it? No, it's beautiful. Yeah, it's really well done. I mean, again, the interior choices, the colors and everything is totally semi-custom. So you could do it whichever way you want. You know, you can choose to have red walls here, which I think would be kind of weird, but you could. But they definitely laid it out to maximize the space. And that's what I'm talking about, you guys. Look, they went all the way. If I stick my foot in here, I can already feel it coming up. Yeah, actually. instead of just really going all the way down with you know, the buildings, they really just kind of optimized it and uplit and it just kind of floats. I mean, you can good. see behind this bulkhead, look there's already the anchor locker because there's the windlass and the chain, so you can tell, like, we're all the way forward. Yeah, it's kind of impressive. So we have a TV coming out of here. We have a lot of exposed storage here, which kind of makes me feel like this must be a pretty stable yacht, or they wouldn't really take a chance on it. Well, it has a sea keeper. Yes. You know, with the sea keeper, of course, it's not rolling much. Yeah, it's pretty amazing that they did that. So then we have some storage here. What's this? Drawer. We have this makeup getting ready area, another drawer, more drawers, drawers. I mean, storage is great. And I like how they set up this little working coffee nook, you know, area. It's kind of neat, just pop your computer and, you know, being able to have some privacy. There's a closet here and there's yeah, a closet where we walked walk in. Yeah, I think we walked by all so. the closet. Well, we've got Kate, so. And all of that behind too. Yes. Wait a minute, there's, there's way three more. Three doors. Wow, oh, this is great size. So you get a triple here. Yeah. And then we have, one more so on the starboard side. That's mine and that's yours. That's basically. exactly how it would work. That's yeah, no, that's not fair. That's fair. You don't need more than that. There's Absolutely. even the safe in there. You know, they guys like wear four things and then they just wear the other four things yeah. for yeah. three months and then they switch. Sounds about right. Again, you guys, a 72 footer. Pretty good amount of storage. Okay, and then we have our ensuite. This is a little awesome. sunken in. Nice. You can put stuff here. Pretty convenient. Tall storage. Yeah. You know. And then we have, of course, the sink. Oh. They really On use the space. storage. Yeah, they really did. Look, they put exposed storage here. One and a half, two? One and a half. I honestly think that the other owner suite might have a little bit of a bigger shower, which is interesting because, you know, you're never fighting. Like, this feels a little bigger here, but it's like kind of a trade off. They're very, they, very similar. They're very similar. Yeah, that's why I think I'm kind of agreeing. This is a dual master because that other cabin is definitely not a VIP. Mm -hmm. All right, where are we going next? Engine, Engine room? room, crew quarters. Let's do it. I was designated to open this space. That's it. Ready? Yeah. You gotta oh, go wow. backwards. Backwards? Yeah. I think they're perfectly fine. I don't need to go backwards. It might be more comfortable, but it's okay this way too. Oh, we can totally all go here. So it's set up for two. Three. Three? No, two. <laughs> I was like, where's the other person gonna be in the bathroom? It's no, nice. it's set up for two. It's actually quite nice. It's good headroom as well. It's not bad at all. It's got a dual bunks. Looks like we've got some drawers. Mm -hmm. The reality of it is a 72 footer in US for sure. Most of the people are gonna use it as own operator. Own operator yeah. So this is like an overflow cabin, maybe taking a deck hand or a captain here and there if, in case you wanna chill out. But in Europe, maybe not. And most mm -hmm. of the time, it's also just gonna be a captain, I think. You know, So it's a great space for, for one. Oh, it's great. Good amount yeah, of storage space. It's not yeah. bad at all. And you've got drawers. So and you got a TV. Good cabin, got a TV. Okay, so what's gonna, gonna switch with, with us? Yeah. All right, so we even have like a miniature little, it's not a galley really, but oh, here's our washer dryer, washer combo. dryer combo and our drink fridge. So it's in this space. So this could be like your utility space if you use it as owner operator. It'd be your extra storage and stuff like that. So we have a little bit of storage there, a little bit of upper storage here. Wow, these are really hard shocks. Brand new boat. And we have a microwave just in case. Yeah, not bad. So I have engine room access is here and uh, you guys show the head. Oh, I feel like someone's gonna have to go in the oh. shower and it's not gonna be this time. This is actually a really nice size head and nice size shower. Oh wow, really? I can, wow, actually turn pretty around. good. See, I don't twirl. Tons of room. You need to up your game. I think I need to up my game. Should I twirl too? I should twirl. twirl. And it's not a wet head. It's no, it's a proper head. Proper shower. It's pretty yeah. nice. Should we go and let you guys maybe go? Yeah, you ready? It's like it's Is 100, it 120 degrees in there. Well, then it's all you, baby. Yeah. Oh, great. Sounds good to me. <laughs> Have fun. Sounds good to me. All right. So we got the engine room here of the 72. And as you guys can see, we have obviously losing a little bit of space and headroom because of the tender garage. But nevertheless, if you walk in, 
I can still completely stand upright. It's a good amount of space. We have a decent amount of space around the engines. The generators on either side, they're equal size, they're cola generators. We have the primary fuel filters right here, also very easily accessible. Straight ahead, we're looking at the Seakeeper 18 mounted in the center of the boat. Engine room ventilation, oh, actually when I'm down here, it's really nice. We see the exhaust from the port engine going right over here and then straight over there into the muffler and then overboard. We have the Victron inverter chargers mounted on the forward wall. So turning further around the big V10 MTU engines. So I can still go all the way aft here. It is on the lower side, but it's manageable. Having the benefit of the tender garage with the jet ski in there is definitely a huge plus, in my opinion. Looking over here on the outboard side, got the hydraulic pack there. We do have a lot of hydraulic features, as you guys have already seen on the exterior. Fire suppression system right there. Even can see and assess the steering components all the way aft. Got the cable reels for the shore power cables up on there. There is Opac Mara passerelle system as we can see, mounted right under the ceiling. Of There's the, a passerelle? There's a passerelle. How did we miss that? No, we didn't miss it, it's right here. So it's actually a V-drive setup. So the engines are pretty much mounted backwards. So as you guys can see, we have a cardan shaft, and then we have the transmission, and then a straight shaft out from the transmission with the dripless, as you guys can see right down there. Waterproof winch controls? What's that? Where do you see For that? the winches on the side? They're for the, um, for the, cap sta the cap stands, yeah. Oh, the cap stands. They were I didn't even notice exactly. them. Oh, that's cool. So also we have our MTU boxes here, so you can start and stop the engines from down here as well. So we have the secondary entrance into the engine room or escape hatch into the cockpit right here as well. And then we have surveillance cameras for the engine room as well. We can pull up on the electronics. Okay, let's snoop. Well, someone's gonna have to open oh, it. Oh, this feels nice. Can, can you open this? Here we go. What's Access there? Access to Oh, what? this is big storage here. It is. Actually, wow. it's a really large storage. Alrighty, you guys, this completes our tour of this world premiere pearl 72 i hope you enjoyed it the boat was super super busy so i'm glad we got to get you guys on board i'm glad we got you guys on board <laughs> i hope i hope it was interesting for you it yeah. was what kind of boat are you guys looking for uh, like you know, what are the thoughts i think this one is actually very nice i think it checks a lot of boxes as far as you know, being able to hold a lot of people yeah. and a lot of space but in a smaller package yeah so monohull catamaran Monohull? Uh, I think Monohull. Monohull? Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Yeah. Where would you be boating? We'd probably keep it down here. Nice. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. I like it. Yeah. Well, thanks for joining us, you guys. Absolutely. Thank you for having us. You guys saw it here. We do take out Patreons on the tour, so <laughs> join us on the Patreon if you want your chance to yes. uh, join us like that. Thanks for the help. Absolutely. I'm sure. Did we have outtakes? Yes. I'm well, sure we <laughs> had <videos. laughs> That was a clear yes. Yeah, that was a clear yes. Thank you for helping me measure all the showers. Absolutely. And I am pretty mad that now I have to step up my game and do a tour also. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to happen. Yeah, thank you guys. It was a pleasure having Absolutely. you. And we'll yeah. see you guys on the next one. Good. And Good communication on the hat game today, by the yes. way. Yes, yeah. very nice. Yeah. Very nice. Spot on, spot I know. on. She's dressed like this. She goes to both shows all the, all the time. time. All the time. All the time. All the time. Yeah. Perfect. And they actually, look, they're also coordinating. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. You gotta, you know. I know, I can't yeah. like, I'm a All right, come on, cue you. Cue you, well, enjoy the outtakes. Ciao. On the side. Oh. 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 <laughs> wow. Very nice. Oh, I didn't film it. <laughs> <laughs> also kind of cool, you can, you can, um... Oh, okay. Everybody okay? <laughs> yeah? Start there Go here. Ahead. I'm just thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Don't hold I it got, back. Okay, I got like distracted by because I didn't see the fridge. Definitely. What is that? Uh, oh, I have no idea how to pronounce that. Yeah. Gagan. No. <laughs> I mean, yeah. it's just literally. Uh, hi. Oh. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> 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 you see people quite no. well. No, no, no. no it's <laughs> fine. It's okay, it's you're good there, you're good. <laughs> you're it's okay. Come on. Come on. <laughs> oh, that's funny. I would say we have our MTV, uh, MTV, MTU 
You got our MTV. I'm MTV. It's a, it's a, it's a Friday afternoon. Wow. <laughs> it is a Friday. So this, this ghost, opens automatically. there's a ghost in there. It's laying in a galley. Just don't bring the stove. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I have one. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> it's dual stabilized. Yeah. Oh, sorry, it's not. What no, am I talking it's about? Not. No. Yeah, that was the other boat. Yeah. <laughs> Friday. Yeah. I see your videos all the time. Thank you so Thank much. You. Absolutely fantastic. So you <laughs> see them or you watch them? Well, well, I'll watch them. Okay, perfect. Okay, good. Thank you. Good answer. Good answer. <laughs>